We are covering the races you decide and going in-depth on the issues you care most about. This morning, we begin a series of conversations with the local major party candidates for State House and U.S. Congress. And we have Florida District Florida House District 79, rather, which covers much of Lee County from North Fort Myers to Lehigh Acres. Republican Matt Caldwell is running for re-election against Democrat John Scott. We met Representative Caldwell at a downtown Fort Myers coffee shop. Welcome to Java House. So both you and your opponent have said that water quality is one of the most important issues in this election. Where do you stand on the state buying land south of Lake Okeechobee to store water? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, water quality is a critical issue, not only to the state, but particularly to our region. Uh, and ultimately, if we need to buy land, we will buy land. Uh, we've spent uh, collectively between the state and the federal government 30 years putting together plans on how to re-engineer the Everglades and make it work for both the environment and the really 20 million people now that live in this state. Uh, and, and I'm going to commit to those plans and meeting those priorities uh, and, and ultimately uh, work with the stakeholders to get the right solution. Can that be done? It's been tried before. Can it be done now? I, I absolutely think it can be done. The biggest problem in the past has been the money uh, to build these projects. We've known what we need to do. We just haven't had the money dedicated to it. And this last year, the legislature adopted the Legacy Florida Bill. So $200 million a year for the next 19 years. Uh, it's the biggest Everglades commitment the state's ever made. What can the state legislature do to have an immediate impact on Zika? Uh, well, we have uh, supported recently uh, the uh, Department of uh, Health and Human Services uh, authorizing the alternative uh, mosquito control method using uh, the, the uh, infertile mosquitoes to try to breed down the population. It was a bipartisan letter we sent to the federal government. We're going to continue to push for that. Uh, here in Lee County, we obviously have our own mosquito control district that's focused on that issue every single day. Why should voters vote for you? Uh, ultimately, they've got to judge me over the last six years, the work uh, we've been able to accomplish. Uh, I feel proud of that work. I think we've paid attention to the needs of the district and Lee County in general. And uh, I'd like the opportunity to finish up these last two years with the same kind of attitude. All right, and tomorrow we're going to sit down with another candidate running for office, this time Democratic nominee for Senate District 23, Frank Alcock.